What's up, everybody? I'm uh, out and about as usual, but uh, I um, didn't do a vlog yesterday, but watched the U.S. lose uh, the World Cup uh, later on in the evening, and uh, that sort of sucked, but it was a, a good match, I guess. Uh, I'm newly into soccer. I've mentioned a few times about watching it, but I don't... Um, or football or whatever you want to say, but uh, I'm really really new to it like two weeks ago was the first time I've ever watched it and but I'm into it like if it's on I'm there doesn't matter who's playing you know I didn't have any it would be cool if the US USA won but it's not I'm not rooting for any team whatsoever because I'm just so new to it so I'm sort of trying to figure it out and, but I, I enjoy watching it um, so the uh, I put um, I'm doing this vlog, and in this vlog, it's going to be pretty short, because after the vlog part here is done, I'm going to show some footage that I used uh, this camera and this mount. On my Instagram, I posted a picture, Instagram and Twitter, I posted a picture that I put the mount on my driver's side window, cracked the window down so that the camera was outward, uh, not out of the car, but facing out and took some footage of me driving. I'm gonna edit that together because I've done footage uh, inside the house and obviously the vlogs from the car and stuff like that. And, um, but I'm hoping, uh, yeah, I wanted to show another, I did some more test footage. I think I've done two test footage uh, shots with the Sony uh, RX100 M3. But I wanted to do one for like outside um, doing some outside footage, so I figured I'd just strap it to the side of the car. Well, I didn't want to put it on the outside, the inside, but shooting the outside just to show you guys what the, you know, outside and direct sunlight, whatever. The, the settings are just auto. I didn't, uh, I just had the thought as I was driving, so I pulled over, threw it on there, and then just went. So uh, if you're looking for anything else, just leave me a comment down below. Um, and anything you guys want to see, any kind of coverage of the RX100 M3, let me know below also, because I'm I'm gonna do, I don't wanna say a full review, um, uh, but I'll be doing an overview of my experience with it. And I think that's sort of been the best for me when it comes to reviews, um, because as much as I like tech and specs, or, or I should say tech, I love tech, but specs and different funk, whatever, it's, to me, it's the real life use of it that, I would want to know about in a review. Um, sometimes I like watching a detailed review also because that gives me more information about it. That's where I get my information from. But for me filming a review or talking about a different product like this camera, to me I'm going to take you through what I've been using and what I've used and what I've found. And, and like I said um, in the last vlog when I was checking some of the autofocus, is that it seems like there's a little bit of an issue right now i can see the square is sort of following my face um, but sometimes like you've seen in one of the reviews it kept getting to the back window and it would focus on there and i was out of focus so um i don't know if that's something they can fix with a software update or if it's something that i need to fool around with um, like i said i've tried the manual focus and i could probably do it from here when it's mounted but honestly it's a vlog and I spend a lot of time setting up shots for, you know, reviews and unboxings. And the vlog, I really just want to be me grabbing a camera and talking to you. So if it gets to the point where it's, I have to autofocus, I have to do this, I have to do that, then more than likely I'll go back to my Q4, uh, my Zoom Q4, and just stick with that for vlogging in the car or whatever. And, uh, but we'll see. So other than that, uh, I have the um, the Zoom H5 is supposed to be coming next week. Um, today, I had to do some running around and, and where I had to go, there was a Best Buy, so I ran in there and I got a, um, some kind of, a different iPad case, iPad mini case. I have the iPad mini Retina with uh, the 128 gig and I have the smart cover, which I don't like. Um, I just, I like, I like protection in the back so uh, I picked up just a it's like a shell case with a, with a smart cover that's got it's magnetic so it stays closed but it's some kind of origami it like folded a certain way I don't know it was Best Buy it was like 50 bucks uh, I think it's an in case 
uh, if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I'll show you in one of the vlogs. And then um, I got, what else did I get? I got like three Miles Loves. And if you don't know, Miles my, well, in actuality, he's not my oldest. He's my oldest son with my wife now that lives with me. Uh, I have two older sons that are 20 and 21 who don't live with me and they don't live in Tennessee with us. So uh, Miles, who's four and a half, and then I have Sawyer that's a year and a half. Miles is just discovered, they love the Lego movie. And then through Netflix or Hulu, I think it was Netflix, uh, he discovered like, I don't know what it's called, Ninja something, but it's Lego Ninjas. Ooh. Excuse me. But anyways, he likes Lego Ninjas. And I had taken them out one time when I bought the A6000 camera, uh, the Sony A6000. We were actually at Best Buy looking for the Ninja movies and we couldn't find anything. For some reason I was at Best Buy today and they had, it was a four pack of movies, like five hours worth of movies, but it's four different movies. I'm sure it's the same stuff he watches on Netflix. Um, for 15 bucks and then they had I guess it's a TV show too and they had series one and series two or season one season two uh, for 10 bucks each so I bought him those three DVD sets um, and then I'll, I'll burn them uh, on my Mac and then put them on his iPad so because if you don't know you download a movie from iTunes like I have I went out I bought him the Lego movie on iTunes because it was it came out, I don't know, two weeks before the actual physical disc. So I bought that so he could watch it on Apple TV at the house. Man, I'm yawning like crazy. <sighs> so I bought him that so he could watch it. And then when the actual DVD Blu-ray came out, I bought it at Walmart because it came with the little Lego dude. I don't know, he said his name, but it's the Morgan Freeman dude. And so I bought that so I could burn it and put it on his iPad because when I put it on his iPad from iTunes, I mean, it's like three or three and a half gigs or something, two and a half, three and a half, something. It's a lot of storage space. So right now he has that. He's been watching. I bought on iTunes for Apple TV because we have one in the toy room and then one in the living room. Um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1 and 2 and like Train Your Dragon. And he loves those movies, but we're putting them on his iPad he has an iPad mini that's a 64 gig so you wouldn't think that would fill up fast but when your movies are three gigs and he gets four or five movies on there you've you know you've took up half taken up half your storage or you know three-eighths of your storage or whatever and with all of his games and music all that stuff it adds up quick to where he couldn't put anything else on so I'll take like I said take the ninja stuff burn it down like I, I bought the Lego one burned it onto my Mac and it's like I don't know 560 megabytes instead of four or three you know two and a half gigs so if that's my my geeky tip of the day is especially for kids stuff I mean because we're but I do it on my stuff too um, I usually don't buy DVDs or blue. Well, I don't buy Blu-ray DVDs at all. But if I buy Blu-rays, uh, I'll burn them, and then that's what I'll put on my device. I I don't. Uh, some movies I'll download if it's something I want to watch really quick, and I probably won't keep on my iPad. Um, and then TV shows like I downloaded um, True Detective, which I've watched. And if you look at the channel, I've talked about it, but my wife hasn't seen yet. And then the other day I downloaded Fargo because I heard it's really, really good. So I downloaded that on iTunes. And the only reason I downloaded those is just so my wife and I could watch it on the Apple TV in the living room. It just makes it a lot more convenient. Uh, I wish the file sizes weren't so big um, on iTunes or even Google Play stuff just so, you know, it wasn't, I guess it's the quality of it, but you know, I don't know, whatever. I just wish it was the files weren't so large. I think they could do something, compress it down and still not lose as much. You know, I don't know that for sure, but uh, so anyways, burn your stuff down. Use Handbrake is a free one that I use for DVDs, um, uh, for d burning DVDs on a Mac, and I have a different one for burning Blu-ray. Uh, I'm not sure the name of it. I think it's called Any Blu-ray. Uh, I have Any Blu-ray Ripper and Any Blu-ray Burner, two different programs. So, anyways. 
Uh, so yeah, I got those and then I got a Zoom H1, which I've been wanting for a long time. I just hadn't pulled the trigger and I don't know why, but I just happened to be walking around Best Buy and they had one there. I'm not gonna edit these out. I'm gonna hope that all of you are yawning along with me. I don't even know why I'm yawning. I got, well, I only got like five hours of sleep last night, but maybe that's it. But I'm tired all the time. So hopefully you guys will be yawning along with me. Let me know if you've been yawning. Uh, so anyways, I got the H1 and uh, I really wanna get to do, I said this is gonna be a quick vlog and obviously it's not already, so, but I'll put the footage at the end. Um, you know what, no, I'll actually make a separate video for the footage, that way I'll keep it in line, this will just be a normal vlog, so if you just watched the beginning and now you fast forward to try to get to the end, haha, <laughs> no footage for you. Um, so anyways, um, I got the H1 and I really want to do stuff where I'm more out and about, uh, not interviewing people or whatever, but I've, I've had the thought of, man, I'd like to do something, like I had when I did the unboxing of my... Um, my portable is by a company called Games, um, or G-E-A-M-S, -G which I did an unboxing, if you haven't seen it, check the channel, but it's an all-in-one uh, gaming system where you connect your PS4 or your Xbox One uh, or your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3, whatever, and it has, you know, built-in monitor, it's like a briefcase, it's awesome. But I always thought, I'm like, well, man, and in that thing I put, you know, maybe I'll go out and go to crazy places, but it needs power, it needs to be plugged in, but that's really about it. But I thought about like going to a Walmart and just like going into like their, um, where they have their patio furniture and just breaking it out, plugging it in and starting to play and just see what people would look like or say. I also need a cameraman too, which I don't have a cameraman. Uh, I don't think my wife could do that and anybody that I know that's really close to me friends aren't really uh, techie or anything like that so you know but and I don't want to just set up a tripod and then you know I, it needs to be something more like a handheld um, but yeah and then it, you know I was thinking about doing stuff like that or going I don't know anywhere like a McDonald's or uh, yeah anywhere where it would be pretty cool but I would like to have a handheld you know mic to where I could ask people or maybe even get their thoughts about the system. Uh, I've seen people do that. I think um, I've seen Unbox Therapy do it. He gives away, like I think he gave away an iPad or an iPhone 5S, the gold, uh, last year. I've seen like, uh, um, oh, my mind just went blank. Your average consumer do it with the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 6 prototype thing. Um, I've seen. Uh, the most recent one is uh, Jonathan and Austin doing the Beats stuff uh, outside of VidCon, which is pretty damn funny. So, anyways, uh, yeah, so I picked one up. I'm hoping that I'll use it. I'm hoping having it, it'll like sort of push me to get out there a little bit more and do some weird stuff. Um, but we'll see. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so other than that, that's about it. So I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Seems like my subscribers, I hit 2,000 when I was in Michigan two weeks ago and I'm almost to 2,200, which to me is rapid growth. Um, so I appreciate that. And uh, I am very appreciative of everybody that subscribes and comments and likes and it just still blows my mind. So uh, uh, thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video. Again, I will do footage in a separate video of the car ride with the um, RX100 M3, you know, some outside footage using the, that super duper codec. So, oh, there's a tweet. Let's see who tweeted me. It's not good to look while you're, oh no, it's a new follower. Batman of Night just followed me on Twitter. Vader tweets or Vader posts or Darth Vader followed me yesterday. So yesterday, Darth Vader, today, Batman. I mean, how can you beat that? You can't, I should end the vlog right now because it doesn't get better unless Superman uh, starts following me in the next three, you know, three seconds. Nope, no such a luck. See you guys later.